Hi there folks, I'm Scott and Happy New Year to everybody watching. Although, wishing someone a Happy New Year kind of rings hollow when you compare it to the last one. Anyway, like a lot of people, I'm sitting here saying New Year, New Me. Same clothes, but New Me. So, again, like many other people, I've got some gaming resolutions. In 2018, we could all be a lot nicer to each other. It's not just that abuse in multiplayer games is bad, it's that it's become part of gaming's cultural landscape, and worse than that, it's been part of gaming's cultural landscape for over a decade, and that, frankly, is pathetic. I get that gaming can be competitive, and I get that it can be frustrating, but if you want to recreationally abuse people, go be a third-rate stand-up comedian, alright? The rest of us don't need it. And people that are just getting into their first multiplayer experiences really don't need it. On a more positive note, in 2018, we could all step outside our comfort zones just a little bit. I love retro gaming, I, I really do. Part of that is because I like to explore gaming's history. Part of it is that I like to look at games that I saw as a kid but never really got a chance to try. But the biggest part of it is that it's all familiar. Honestly, it's a lot easier for me to just stick on Tony Hawk's 2 again than it is to explore a new game or a new genre, something that I might not like or something that I might be total crap at. I mean, not enjoying a game or not being immediately amazing at a game? Hardly the worst thing to ever happen to you, is it? So this year, try something you've never tried before. Maybe it's indie games, maybe it's games from a certain publisher or developer. Maybe just play a game based on someone's recommendation alone. Now, last but not least, in 2018, what we, and I really mean I could do, is to finish with a fucking start. I've said it before, I buy games in sales, and then either never finish them, or never touch them. And that rarely happens with other mediums. I mean, you don't just leave half-read books lying about the house. I mean, yes, certain games exist for different purposes. Some nights I might be too tired to dive into some character-driven epic, I might just want to play Tetris. But for me, I think a little bit of self-discipline could go a long way. But those are just my thoughts. Please tell me what you're going to do in 2018 to make yourself a better gamer. If anything, it's entirely your choice. You're all grown-ups, I'm not your dad. Anyway, tell all your pals about this video, and I'll see you next week.